Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video. I'm going to be using all of these beautiful products today that I all purchased off of either Amazon or um, the Aprez Gel X website. The Gel X extensions are from the Chan Legend collection. They're full cover soft gel nails that you can apply so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i did that today it was my first time and yeah it went kind of hectic but the end result was beautiful so let's just get into it okay so i'm starting off by pushing back my cuticles um, because this is a full cover nail that i'm gonna be gelling down onto my natural nail i want to make sure that my cuticles are all cleaned up and that there's no like dead skin or anything on my nail so i'm just making sure to prep my nails really well pushing back my cuticles cutting my nails down and then i'm going to go in with my cuticle cutter and just clip away at any dead skin you guys know how to nail prep so i feel like i don't have to go super into detail about this process because i always do the same thing anyway um, then I'm going in with this McCart nail file. It's a hundred grit on one side and 180 on the other. I'm using the 180 grit, which is the softer side. The higher the number, the softer it is. The lower the number, the harder it is. So I'm going in with the 180 side and I'm gently buffing the shine off of my natural nail. Then going in with some nail prep. This is the pH bond from the Jellish kit that I'm always talking about every single time I do a nail video. Um, purchase this off of Amazon. I will have everything linked in the description box so you guys can purchase it all yourself. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the acid-free gel primer. This is from Aprez. I don't know if it's Aprez or a pre. I'm gonna say a, a pre. I feel like you probably shouldn't pronounce the S, but I'm going in with the acid-free um, gel primer, doing a very thin layer of that on all of my nails, and then going in with this mini UV light from McCart. I am a McCart ambassador now, which is so cool. So you guys can actually use code Jasmine at checkout for 15% off your entire purchase. Um, this is the Extend Gel from Apri. So this is what we're gonna use to adhere the full cover soft gel nails. So you're supposed to do a thin layer of this. Um, on every single nail and then you want to cure for 10 seconds under a little mini light you can do a flash cure which is what i'm going to do next but you want to keep this layer thin you don't want to make it too thick um and you guys saw the consistency of this extend gel it's a bit of a thicker viscosity so i was trying to figure out if this was similar to like a foundation um gel base like a base coat it's definitely much thicker so it's not the same thing i'm doing a flash cure with my little mini mccart uv light making sure that i get all of the nails i like this because it's so easy to use it has a little like usb connector it was really cute this is what the full cover soft gel nails look like they're very deep so i can see um why you would be able to fill the inside with the extend gel or even like poly gel if you wanted to or like a quick gel so i'm just gonna go in with my electric e-file um the instructions advise for you to buff the inside of the soft gel nail up until where your natural nail would stop so it was about like halfway for me because i have longer nail beds so i'm just going in with this little electric e-file that i also bought off of amazon it was 20 bucks the piece that i was using was a little bit too wide so i went in with a narrower um drill bit and i just did the same thing but this was like very easy to do it buffed really easily. Um, it is a soft gel nail, meaning you can soak this off with acetone. So unlike poly gel where you can't soak it off, this you actually can soak off. So I actually really like that about these nails. 
they were really easy to buff later on in the video you guys will see next you want to fill the inside of the soft gel nail with the extend gel you don't want to put too much but you don't want to put too little this was very hard for me to determine um, because this was my very first time using this product so i wasn't sure what was too much gel and i wasn't sure what was too little so my first hand that i ended up doing which was my left hand i personally feel like came out horrible i did not like the way um i was applying the nails it was really tricky for me and i'm gonna show you guys all of that because i want to be 100 percent candid and transparent with you guys i was struggling okay i could see how this would be super easy to do on someone else but doing it on yourself is a little hard because you have to apply pressure enough pressure so that there are no air bubbles trapped underneath the nail while simultaneously also sticking it under the uv lamp and i wasn't able to maneuver it on my own like and i don't i didn't have any help so it was kind of hard um and you also want to make sure you're flipping your nails and you're curing the underside um i'm flash curing with my mini little mccart um uv lamp and then i'm gonna put my whole hand under the my full size uv lamp that i have um so that was the first nail the pinky didn't come out too bad there was a little bit of gel that kind of like pulled around my cuticle area it like spilled out on the edges because it was a little bit too much extend gel in the soft gel so for the next finger i was like okay let me go in with a little bit less and again it was just really hard when you're applying it you want to make sure you're applying uh, pressure from the cuticle down your nail um, that way you don't have air bubbles and I'm saying this because it's very important but I wasn't able to do it myself <laughs> like I watched a bunch of tutorials everyone makes it look so easy but then when it's actually time to go in and do it yourself it's actually really hard so I don't want to discourage you guys though I feel like once I do get the hang of this this will be my go-to method for doing my nails because it cut down so much time with the soft gel full cover nails already being sculpted and shaped for me like I really it took no time for me to do my sets what normally takes like three to four hours I was able to do in like two hours which I really liked um, it's just that you have to know exactly how much extend gel to apply under the nail otherwise if it's too little you'll have air bubbles and if it's too much then it kind of spills out everywhere it spills under the nail it spills around the cuticle and then that's like clean up and it's just very uncomfortable on the skin too um so for my index finger i ended up not applying enough i'm going to show you guys what that looks like because i really messed up this finger um, but again, we can all learn from my mistakes, myself included, so definitely gonna include this. But I was just struggling. I could not, like, I couldn't simultaneously, like, apply pressure so that there were no air bubbles, hold the nail down, and stick it under the light at the same time. All with, like, my one finger. You see my index finger? All of them bubbles under there? That, it just, it... I was so upset because I'm such a perfectionist and I wanted this to come out perfect and it wasn't and I was so upset but then I did my other hand my right hand I'm a righty and my right hand always comes out better I don't know why but my left hand is always better at doing my right hand which is so crazy it's so weird but I kind of glued the pinky nail on my right finger like kind of slanted and I was showing you guys that but other than that the other hand came out so good now I'm going in with that same drill bit that I used to buff the inside of the nail. Um, and I'm just trying to clean up the gel that had spilled out around the cuticle. I didn't want to apply nail polish on top of that and there that be there and then it be kind of like lumpy along the cuticle. I like really clean cuticles. That way it just looks so much smoother once it does start to grow out. It kind of looks like it's growing out of your your nail bed as opposed to like really lumpy along the cuticle line then i just went in with my mccart nail file and i just buffed the shine off of the top of the nail because i am going to go in with color um, another thing with these nails being clear um, if you don't have a perfect application and you wanted to do like a clear set it would make it kind of difficult because you'd be able to see like all of the gel underneath that's just not um sitting the way it's supposed to or you'd be able to see the air bubbles the trapped air bubbles 
I did have trapped air bubbles. I don't know what that's gonna look like once I take my nails off. Um, but yeah. Next, I'm going in with these two gel polishes, a black and a red. You guys know we're doing Louboutin inspired nails. I saw these kinds of nails on Pinterest and I was like, I wanna try that. So I ordered these off of Amazon. They were super cheap, but like really, really like vibrant colors. The only thing I would have done differently is I would have placed white nail polish underneath the red before I did the red. And I'll tell you why. Because when I go in with the black on the top of the nail, because the the soft gel nail is transparent and it's completely clear, the black creates a tint through the red on the other side so the red doesn't look as vibrant. So it looks super vibrant here because I haven't applied the black yet um, and the color was so pretty. Like this is such a pretty red. It was the perfect like Louboutin classic red. But then when I went in with the black, it kind of made it look dark and I was, I was not happy about that. So when you do this set, if you do this set, make sure you apply a layer of white gel polish under the nail before you go in with your two coats of red gel polish. It'll make it look so much more opaque and it'll make the red really pop. Like, it'll look so good. But I ended up doing two coats of the red gel polish. And that's what it looked like. Everything was coming together, it looked real cute. See, I didn't even have to shape these nails. Like, I just squared off the top, that's all that I did. And then I'm going in with the black, and I'm gonna do two layers of the black gel polish. This was like really good, what's the word? Oh, this was like oddly satisfying. Like, the way I applied the, the nail polish, I was watching it back and it just looked really like comforting to watch if that makes sense so i'm just gonna let you guys watch this oh one more thing you guys know i'm not a professional um i don't claim to be a professional i am diy queen i just like to do my nails you know for myself um so this was definitely a learning experience for me i was feeling a little discouraged at first but the way that the nails came out i would definitely try this again i think i'm gonna try some different methods i saw um some people applying like poly gel on the inside of the soft gel nails and just applying that directly to the nail i feel like that might be easier for me as opposed to like the wet extend gel which is a bit stickier and a bit like oozier and it kind of just like gets everywhere so i'm definitely going to be trying this again um, if you guys want to see more tutorials with the Apres a pre extend soft gel nails then then make sure you let me know down below in the comment section but I'm just flash curing with my little McCart UV lamp I really love this little mini lamp like it makes the process go so much quicker when I can just like flash cure for like 10 seconds and then I can cure everything in the end for like 30 seconds 60 seconds it's so much easier i don't know if i mentioned this but you want to make sure that you're capping your edges with the red and not the black because you want the red to be visible on the tips of the nails it looks so cute when you do it like that so make sure you do that That's the first layer of the black. You can't tell on camera, but it was a little bit streaky like in certain areas. So I did want to go in with a second coat of the black gel polish just to be safe, just to make sure that everything was super opaque and there were no streakiness to any of the nails. So that's what I'm doing here. I cured everything under my UV lamp for 60 seconds, including the underside, and then I was like, ugh. This is when I noticed that the black had made the red not look as vibrant anymore, so I wanted to go in with a third coat of the red just to see if I could make it, you know, a bit more poppin'. And it helped, but it still wasn't what I wanted. I wanted it to be like red, red. And it was red, but it was red, red. You know what I'm saying? So, 
that was everything once it was cured honey and then i went in with my gelish top coat this is my favorite top coat it's super super shiny and it's just the perfect uh this just brings everything together like it always just like does my nails so good so love this stuff so much did a single layer of the top coat from gelish You guys, I haven't done black nails probably since I was like 13 when I was in my emo phase. Um, so this is like, whoa, this is a lot for me. Like, I was like, this is very dark, but it's actually grown on me. I actually really like it. So I think I'm gonna start wearing black nail polish more often. What do you guys think? Cured everything. And then this was the final product. Oh my God, my nails look so good. Then I went in with the Nourish Gel from the Gelish Kit, which is the cuticle oil. I said Nourish Gel. Nourish Oil from the Gelish Kit. It's a cuticle oil and I'm just applying that to my cuticles. You guys know what it is. You, you know what it is. This is the finished product, honey, okay, period. She's giving Louboutin, she's giving money, she's giving that girl. Like, I'm here for it. I love the painted underside. I think most of my sets now are gonna feature a painted underside because it's just so fun. It's like you flip your hand and there's more nail polish. I love it. Like, I'm here for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam. Turn on your post notifications. There are new videos two times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next upload. Bye.